Price Grant takes Richmond with William Holden. Lucille Ball's hilarious comedy antics clearly anticipate the TV Lucy to come. In The Fuller Brush Girl with Eddie Albert, Lucille Ball displays a unique talent for extreme physical comedy, unrivaled by any other leading lady of the time. Not until television will it find its fullest expression and appreciation. She loved, absolutely loved to hear people laugh. That was money for her. That was truly money for her. No one in Hollywood knew what her talent was. In 1947, Desi Arnaz serves as musical director on Bob Hope's weekly radio series and tours with his band. In 1948, on radio, Lucille Ball, playing an endearingly wacky wife on My Favorite Husband, enjoys perhaps her greatest success to date. With Jess Oppenheimer as head writer, the radio series is an almost instantaneous hit. CBS wanted to take My Favorite Husband uh, to television like it was doing with all of its other shows and naturally it was a success so it wanted to use the same cast with Lucy as the, the star and, and her co-star Richard Denning but Lucy would have nothing to do with that she wanted to use Desi Arnaz uh, in part to save her marriage because she was not spending any time with him he was always on the road with his band but the network didn't think anybody would accept a, a, a Cuban uh, husband of such a, a red-blooded American girl, as they put it. Uh, so they said absolutely not. With the help of her writers Bob Carroll Jr. and Madeline Pugh, Lucy actively campaigns to have Desi play her husband on her new TV show. We wrote a, uh, a, an act we did for the two of them because the CBS, who wanted to do the television show with her, didn't know how they would act together. And she said, well, we'll, we'll go out on the road. And they had Desi's band, and he was ostensibly doing this show, and then Lucy would come in and interrupt. The tour to prove to CBS that audiences would not only accept, but welcome Lucy and Desi as a team, begins in Chicago and hits other major cities. I saw such comedy, such wonderful things they were doing. They had invented this, and she had invented that, and I watched and I laughed. I was crazy. I said, this is one of the greatest things I have ever seen. It was a big success, and finally CBS relented and came to Lucy and said, we'll do a deal. In 1951, Philip Morris becomes the official sponsor of their new show, and Desilu Productions moves into Hollywood's General Service Studios. October 15, 1951, just three months after the birth of Lucy Arnaz, television audiences get their very first look at I Love Lucy. objects to paying $5,000 more per episode that filming will necessitate, Desi makes a deal. Desi Lou will assume those costs in exchange for ownership of I Love Lucy. I have to give Desi the major credit. When he was given the opportunity to own the I Love Lucy films, CBS was the company for whom these were being done. CBS was just a, a network, and it 
wasn't particularly interested in owning films. Uh, but Desi obviously had the foresight to see what this would mean. And it was this foresight that sparked the beginning of the Desilu Empire. I Love Lucy was the first situation comedy that was uh, done on film in front of a, an audience with three motion picture cameras. Desi Arnaz had the brilliant idea to shoot the series on film. And this had never been done before. It had always been done live in the past. By doing it on film, they would have a residual negative and they'd have the opportunity to edit and that's where I came in. But the big, big problem was how are we gonna cut these three reels of film? Moviola had built a three-headed Moviola at one time and it was the thing that really released us and opened up the, the, our editing problem. I was surprised when they presented me with this, what I call a three-headed monster. And when I said to my assistant, Bud Mullen, where are we going to put this monster? He said, uh, he started to laugh, and uh, Lucy and Desi picked up on it, and everybody called it the monster. We had a problem in lighting the sets. In a motion picture, you will have a scene which they will light to the nth degree, and then they'll shoot the scene. We in, in, in had a problem where we had people walking from set to set. We couldn't light it like we like you do with the motion picture. Carl Freund was the favorite cameraman of Lucy's, and she's the one that insisted that he do the show. And he was the cameraman on, uh, on Metropolis, which Fritz Lang uh, directed. Carl came up with the idea of floodlighting, or what he called uh, flat lighting the set. In other words, pouring light into all the sets, even if you went from one room to another, you still were be able to be in focus, and you had enough light to, to film it. And Carl Freund came up with a plan that coordinated the three motion picture cameras in the same way that the television cameras were working. And it really revolutionized the, the television business, where all the half-hour shows that were done on film all followed the three-camera technique that was developed by Desi Lu, Carl Freund, and Desi Arnaz. The idea of using three cameras and and uh, bringing an audience in to watch the show film uh, was something new, something had never been done before. The system basically are three cameras. They were 16 millimeter cameras. They were not television uh, tube cameras at that time. They were shooting this on film. They would shoot them with three angles. They could have different angles and they could intercut like a film, which would uh, be very useful for comedy editing and particularly the end result of a good comedy show. This technique, of course, was developed and developed over the years by Desi Lu into the system that uh, almost every other show in Hollywood started to use. After Desi came up with the idea of the three cameras, every other comedy show adopted the same idea because the actors got such fulfillment working in front of an audience. The intercutting and editing is a very important aspect of the development of television shows because with the editing, you could actually develop the comedy in the way that you want it. And the technique that we developed is still being used today uh, on television, 40-some years later. During the second season of I Love Lucy, Lucille Ball was expecting her second child, Desi Arnaz, Jr. It was decided that Lucy Ricardo would also be pregnant. On the same night that Lucy gives birth to Desi Jr., an all-time record 44 million viewers tune in for the birth of Little Ricky, foreshadowing the tremendous success to come for Desi Lu's future empire.